guys how's it going it's me the diamond builder here again welcome to another video where today we are looking at this redstone tutorial we are doing a redstone tutorial and this is a t flip flop if you don't know what a t flip flop is it's just simple so you know how levers work in minecraft wait let me quickly grab one and show you let's take a redstone lamp okay so if i put a lever and i connect i didn't mean to do that if i connect with a redstone and a redstone lamp or any output if i once flick it it'll become like this if i again flick it it'll become like uh, it'll uh, turn off turn on turn off but what does a button do is the button wait let me show you you will press it it gives a slightly delay and he'll switch it off itself so you can say it's automatic lever you need to just give the input but in some places like you are doing a redstone piston door i meant piston door, piston door and you want a button instead of lever you can use a t flip flop basically what this does is it makes a button input into a lever input that's it so let's see what this concrete i put so the green one is output as you can see the redstone lamp you can connect to anything this thing i'm i was not sure i'm not sure i don't say like that see here it's part of output but still it's redstone a redstone component so yeah i just put a hello and these two these four uh, these five blocks are only the complicated one and this thing might not be that expensive but the only expensive thing is the comparator which is one quartz if you got your diamond pick you can just do it so let's see how to do this tutorial how to build this i mean so the things you will need for this thing is this much only one hopper one button let it be stone or oak or any wood type one comparator two droppers or dispensers droppers are cheaper than dispensers so you can you might prefer to use it so first what i'm going to do is place a dropper facing upwards okay just leave the background and see the tutorial in the center then put a hopper running into the dropper which will face upwards then put a dropper just like this facing towards the inwards the hopper put a redstone comparator and take your button and put it over here that's it you are done and for this thing to work you need one block not diamond block necessarily you can put any dirt block any block so i'm going to just put this hopper for now so now you can see because of the here the hopper is there it'll give off signal and we can take it and use it but if i press this the hopper splits out and it goes it gets the hopper will accept it and take it and again put it over here when i when i again press the button the item from here will go up here but it won't fire it twice so again the loop won't continue so that's the tutorial but if you want to do the extension part like me you can do like this what you are you are not going to need so much you are going to need the redstone comparator if you need full stent and output i just renamed the redstone block and you definitely need a block but leave it oh i got carrot you can't place oh that's the extension part so guys that's the end of the tutorial it's very simple if you i this thing only works for 
listing it works on both bedrock and java i almost said it only works on bedrock it listing works uh, works both on java and bedrock but java has another simpler thing i won't say but cheaper but still it requires a sticky piston i'll make another tutorial on that some other day but that's that will do for me today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe to the diamond bullet channel so now you can never miss another video and thank you goodbye